What's going on, Cougar fans? Peter Borkowski here on the Cougar Sports Network bringing you this edition of Coaches Weekly. And for the first time this season, joined by head coach of the women's lacrosse team here at CUC, Fran Scott. Coach, welcome to the show today. I'm excited to have you on. Thank you. Well, let's go over last season a little bit because the home opener, the season opener, is this upcoming weekend. So last season, your team, 8-7 and seven overall, 5-1 and one in conference, made a run all the way to the conference title game. Unfortunately, dropped that one to Aurora but it was your first season here as head coach so let's just talk about general thoughts from that season your main takeaways what you guys are looking to build off of like in terms of positives what's going to be different this year and maybe what you really want to see improved upon going into this season yeah so last season I came on really close to the start of the season so mm -hmm. I think that that adjustment alone for the girls was just a little bit tough new coach right before you know kind of a little bit of questioning there mm -hmm. um, but we definitely got through it and ended up being super successful so for this year I'm looking to kind of you know get through that we hopefully we don't even have that actually to get through I would okay, say right um, I'm hoping that the girls are used to me by now mm -hmm. and they kind of have that little bit of questioning out right of their system and yeah looking forward to a good new season mm -hmm. Well, that season begins this upcoming weekend, like I mentioned, but we got a preview of it this past weekend, Saturday. You guys made the short trip to Lake Forest, played a scrimmage there against the Foresters. Can you just kind of run us through that scrimmage? What did you see as head coach that you liked? What did you see that needs a little bit more tuning up before this Sunday? Just general overall thoughts from that game against the Foresters. Yeah, so we actually, because basketball season wasn't over, we were missing one okay. um, that day, so we actually ended up being man down. So mm -hmm. the other team kindly uh, played man down with us, okay. so we were even with them, but it was one less player on the field. Right. So that's definitely going to look a little different for us, obviously, coming into you know our first real game. Mm -hmm. um, but we should have one sub by right. then. Hopefully that's <laughs> the plan. Um, but yeah, things went really well. A uh, couple new players who had never played lacrosse before. Okay. So we uh, were super excited that they kind of made the adjustment. It took mm -hmm. about the first quarter to kind of get into it. Um, and then, you know, once they, once they were there and present, it really Getting took off. Getting them into the rhythm. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Coach Maggie and I were just super, super excited that um, they kind of understood the game of lacrosse and they really put together everything that we've been working on mm -hmm. this whole preseason. Um, so we're super excited to see what they do in a real game. Right. Well, that first real game is this Sunday right here in River Forest. You guys welcome St. Mary's College to Concordia Stadium. What does this team need to do to pull off that first win? Starting the season off with a win is going to be big, of course. So what needs to happen on the field or even off the field, if that's what it is, so we the Cougars can come away with that first W? Yeah, so um, I think it's consistency for us. Okay. So like I said, those new, newer players kind of got that under their belt. They understand they understand what they're supposed to be doing. They really kind of clicked it. So mm -hmm. now it's about starting and going all the way through the game and finishing strong because right. St. Mary's is definitely a tough team, mm -hmm. um, and we can absolutely pull out the win if we stay consistent and strong throughout the whole game. Mm -hmm. And then to wrap up here, Coach, I like to ask this of all the coaches in their first interview of the season, but – what kind of identity is this team trying to establish? When people think of the 2023 women's lacrosse team here at Concordia, what do you want them to think of? It can be on the field play strategy. It can be, you know, off the field culture. Just what is the general vibe around this team going to be this year? Yeah, I would say it's kind of just the culture aspect um, that I would touch on, and that is just the heart behind the game. So we mm -hmm. do have a lot of new players, um, but we also do have – a pretty big returning you have senior. Yeah, a lot of returning, right? Yeah, and I would say that they're kind of like the heart of the team this year. So I'm really looking for everyone to kind of build off of that heart and that energy, and mm -hmm. just have a good time while we're while we're out there winning. Definitely. Well, the Cougars look to pick up their first win of the season this Sunday, welcoming St. Mary's College to Concordia Stadium. That's a 1 p.m. start time, and coverage can be found at our website cucougars.com. The live stream will be found on our YouTube page, CUC Sports. Coach Scott, good luck on the first game. Good luck on your second season here at Concordia. And I'm looking forward to talking to you a couple more times throughout the season. But until next week, this is Peter Borkowski signing off of the Cougar Sports Network and wanting to say, as always, go Cougars.